way. Hello! We're gonna start off this video looking like a potato and then we're gonna end this video looking like the girl that we aspire to be. I haven't full on installed the wig in literally a year. So hopefully I don't fuck up because so I already have my hair kind of ready to go. I put some gel on like right here because I do have like bangs. Today's wig is from Eula Hair. This is the first time I'm trying them. The packaging is cute, very simple, like it very much. My first time opening it. <gasps> Ooh, this is cute. Oh whoa, she's long. I forgot how many inches this is, but so far so good. I really like how the wig comes very sealed and very protected. <gasps> it comes with a freaking comb, and that's so funny because I literally needed one of these. I've been using these types of combs like to do my hair, but it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. This is so great! And it says Eula hair. This is perfect. Like this is like one of the best things you can use when installing a wig. So very excited about this. So right here they have a Eula hair instruction. Ooh! I've never seen a wig company do this before. Oh wow, it gives you like all like these different types of tricks. They even give you do's and don'ts. That's so cool. Next thing they give you is this um, Eula hair. Little ticket thing. Oh, it says share your beauty and win free hair. And of course they give you wig caps. I love when companies, like wig companies give you wig caps. It just means that they truly do care. <laughs> I like that Picasso. This is close enough. I'm going to have to double check if I have like a lighter one because I am on the paler side. And then lastly, they come with eyelashes, which I kind of want to try out to be honest because these actually look really cute. These are the lashes. I don't know if it's focused. I can definitely see these working because they have like a curl to them. Okay, let's open this wig up. My favorite part. Wait, I'm so excited. I haven't had a new wig in a while. Yay! She's cute! Uh, Christina Aguilera vibes. Uh, I got your way, Christina. She's translucent. I love her. Oh, wait, I gotta bleach the knots, right? Do I really need to bleach the knots? I mean, there's always ways not bleach the knots and just like get away with it. So far, so cute. I'm so happy I picked this wig because I feel like I always gravitate more so to like just regular blonde wigs. Okay, so I lied. I'm actually, I'm gonna bleach the knots. I really wanted to put this wig on today, man. I'm trying to make this as good as I can, so I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow. Hi. I'm back, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt because I really wanna wear this shirt. <laughs> in this video for some reason so here i am i'm currently pinning up my hair well just like my bangs for the wig cap and we gotta get started on this wig install yeah this is more to my skin tone because i'm pale usually i would obviously you know braid my hair but i don't really remember how the fuck to do this and i look so funny right now i've always used that to be glue I'm just gonna I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes I like to put it on top too. A mistake that I did a lot when I first began installing my own wigs was use this for the wig cap. And that would just <coughs> up everything. I'll start to get so frustrated with everything. Yeah, so don't do that. <laughs> also, the place where I always <coughs> up and I've only like mastered it once is this area right here. I never seem to um, do good. <laughs> I'm gonna let this air dry. So I lied. So I cut like a hole right here. Just try not to cut your hair because I always end up cutting my hair like I like I literally just did right now. And I just kind of do this, you know. Now I'm gonna go.
because why do I look like this man right here? Like, I'm giving very much this man right now. I'm really happy that I was really patient letting everything dry. And I also went back for like a second round with the free spray right here. I'm really happy I did that because for once, it stayed. But yeah, this is how she looks. Come back. Come back is strong. Come back is strong. I'm gonna go get my wig. Hi. Go ahead and um, cinch in so it can fit my head better. I kind of like fixed the wig up a little bit. The knots didn't bleach as much, unfortunately. Um, it's looking really crazy right now. Another thing that I did last night was that I did like some layers just in the front, like the front part as you can see by using this and I used these little scissors as well. I'm also going to use the scissors for this. I heard this is more, more better, but I've never tried it with this. Seems to me that I don't need to cut as much on the ears, which is great because usually I have to go in and like I got these in El Salvador. They're so cute. They were like 50 cents. Yep, I'm just going in. I always have more trouble on this side of the face. Yeah, I see what I need to do. I need to cut more of the cap. I'm probably going to have a little bit of difficulty on this side. Just because I see it lifting. It's really scaring me. I'm scared to spray because if I spray it too much, then it's just going to F up. Like, instantly. Yeah. I'm freaking scared, dude. Okay, so I fixed the problem. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember if I use this or this for the lace. I, I literally do not. Okay, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Got some weak glue. This comes in handy as well. This always comes in handy. <laughs> Literally one f I mean, sorry, this is easy. One mess up, and then this shit is like messed up. Okay, I'm gonna let this air dry just a little bit. Okay, so I put mascara on while I was waiting, so now I'm gonna put this down. This is also one of the parts that gets me very frustrated because sometimes it like folds, if you know what I mean. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. We can do anything, guys. We can do anything. I've been, you know, doing this for like four hours. Okay, I'm, I'm just lying. It's been three hours, but same thing. I'm just massaging it in. Wigs also give you an instant uh, facelift, so I definitely recommend that. Uh oh, I hear some footsteps. Hi! And instant catfishing. Instant catfishing. Look, a facelift. Should have done this before, but yeah. I'm gonna go pluck this and I'll be right back. I don't want to bore you guys with this part. I plucked as much as I can, okay? I really want to... Because I feel like it's too puffy, so... Usually when that happens, I like to set aside some of the first few hairs. And then just go in with this little razor. I know this might be painful, but only do that if you know you're just gonna do one style. Look then. This is so overwhelming. I'm gonna record it on my phone, but my, my dog always looks at me when I'm getting ready. Hi. Hi. She's the cutest. I'll be right back. Hi. So I forgot to film this part, but I did it. I cut it. I was about to say I'm deleting the extra gel. <laughs> I'm taking a wipe and just wiping it all away. Going to start wearing wigs a lot again because I hate my hair. Okay, I wiped it down. This side is really bothering me, as you can see. <sighs> I am not gonna yell. 
Am I starting to look cute yet? By the way, this wig also comes already with baby hairs, which is a plus. I'm ready to go baby hairs, as you can see. Point where I'm just like, you know, maybe the notifications didn't go out, you know? Okay, my camera died, so I'm on my phone now. So, it's so bad under there. I don't even want to show you guys. Um, but I'm gonna do this thing that I love to do, and I kind of hope I don't forget how to do it. Sometimes I do it with gel, sometimes I do it with spray, but today I'm gonna do it with spray. So let's take a little bit of spray. Oh my god, now my phone is gonna die. Great. Take a little bit of spray and just, you know brush it through like that and while you're at it spray or take away fly away baby ah. pull up out up out <laughs> If anybody tries to clock me, I'm just gonna be like, shut up. Shut up. I'm gonna take this um, Dragon Beauty powder and put it right in there. I'm frustrated. I'll put it back. I'll try to fix it. I finished doing my hair. This is my hair. It doesn't look good close up i'll tell you that much i love this hair this hair is so soft and it's just amazing it's perfect in my opinion i definitely recommend if you guys are looking for a hair company this is the one and i love this hair style color yeah here it is and i also did like a little curl at the bottom it's giving avril lavigne it's giving christina aguilera it's giving what giving bad bitch almost feels too good to be true right now because i'm having a good wig day and my makeup is looking good oh look how pretty my makeup looks yeah. also since i couldn't bleach the knots correctly on time i put some concealer on like the little dots okay look i don't really care if people clock me today all I know is I feel good. Next time I know what to do. I kind of want to wear this wig for my birthday. Y'all, I tried on these lashes. Like, I wore these lashes, the one that came with the wig. And I'm, like, obsessed. Like, these are the type of style that I like. And usually when wig companies give you, like, lashes with your wig, they're, like, horrible. These are not. Which I was shot and y'all will see. Real quick, I want to show you guys the products that I used. Since I couldn't film it. Foundation, I wear this one. This is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I've been wearing this since fucking, like, what? Since I was, like, a freshman. I'm in the shade 202. And I have dry skin, so it works out. For concealer, I use this Tooth Face Concealer. I love this concealer. Born This Way in the shade Swan. I also use this concealer. This is the Fit Me Maybelline in one. This is the lightest shade. I put it right in the middle of the other concealer and also put it here. And then for powder, I use Laura Mercier. Also adding that extra concealer like before you bronze, it's it makes things way better. So that's what I've learned. And then I use this one. I've always used one. I've been using this since middle school. It's my favorite or whenever the fuck <laughs> drops. Today I'm going to use the, the Rosa Sea Beauty blush. It's really bright, but it's so good. And it has sparkles, which is good for me. I know some people don't like sparkles in their um, blushes, but for me, since I don't wear highlighter anymore, I like to have a little shimmer in my blush. I literally have not felt this pretty in so long. Like... I feel like myself, but that's why I love wearing wigs. I'm going to just use this one because whatever. I'm gonna use my finger. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Mighty Morphin. 
It's just the shimmer shade. <gasps> the packaging is so cute though. Reminds me of my childhood. My liner now. I use this one, Rosie C Beauty. In my opinion, they have the best uh, felt tip eyeliner. I'm like, wow. <sighs> These are the lashes. Ah! If he does. Yeah, I knew it was too good to be true. And I don't know how that happened. Just have to keep my calm. I've been really into putting these um, nail stickers on my face. So I'm gonna put one on today. Honestly, I wanna put the pink on. Yeah. Okay, so it's been a few days and the hair still looks really, really good. It's kind of frizzy just because I don't have anything to really sleep with it in the correct way, you know. But it's holding on really well. I really like this wig. I'm going on day four tomorrow. Tomorrow is two, 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 two. I did my makeup today and I feel really pretty. So I just wish my nails were done but but yeah if you guys are interested in eula hair i definitely recommend it 10 out of 10 for me check them out um they have a lot of wigs to choose from so definitely go for it i say go for it if you're looking for a wig go for it because it's the right decision like i said if you guys are interested in eula hair the link will be down below hope you guys enjoyed bye